look at this guys we got the menu all right we are using the mksd ultra version 5.4 please watch this video from the beginning until the end so you don't miss any of the tips that i'm gonna give you hello guys how you doing this is your friend alex here i have an iphone 11 running ios 17 let me show you ios version 17.0.1 and this is the latest one pretty much right this is another thing that i want to show you if you go here carrier lock sim lock this device might be restricted to the original carrier and or have certain capabilities limited. I'm here in Peru and I bought this SIM card, Claro, and I'm going to try it on this iPhone 11 that is locked to AT&T. Let's see what happens when we put a Claro SIM card on an iPhone 11 that is locked to AT&T. Activation require. I do have a passcode. And here it is guys, SIM not supported. The SIM that you currently have installed in this iPhone is from a carrier that is not supported under the activation policy that is currently assigned by the activation server. As you can see, we cannot use this SIM card on this iPhone, right? The other thing that I can try is, I can try to use the AT&T unlock portal. Let me just get IMEI and let me go to uh, AT&T unlock. And I'm gonna click AT&T device unlock. Unlock your device. Do you have a mobile number from AT&T? No. The IMEI number, I'm going to paste it. The portal recognized the iPhone as the iPhone 11, A2111. Click here and click next. We can unlock this device because the device is still under contract. Sign into your account to review your contract. To pay the early termination fee and unlock this device, call 1-800-331-0500. So pretty much we cannot use this. If you have an iPhone, you can try with the secondary IMEI, which is the eSIM. So let me try with that too. I'm going to change the IMEI. And this is the eSIM, right? Okay, it's allowing me to put my name and last name, email address, very important, and I'm gonna click submit. Thanks, we got your request. Okay, so I was able to submit it. Now let me log into my email. You always need to confirm your request. AT&T order status, heads up, you have 24 hours to confirm your unlock request. So click there, and you need to click here, confirm your request. So click there, and it says thanks for confirming. Click here, go back to the email, and now click on check the status. It says pending, that's a good sign guys. When it says pending, it means that they're taking their time. We can go back to the email, and we can click again, check the status. Current status, deny. We can't unlock this device because the device is still under contract. So the same thing, guys. We tried with both IMEIs and we got denied. So in case you bought this iPhone on offer up marketplace, eBay, Craigslist, Swappa, wherever you bought this device and they told you that it was unlocked and it's not unlocked, I think your last resort will be to use this MKSD Ultra SIM Unlock card, okay? I'm not promoting this. This is just for educational purposes. I'm just gonna show you how to use this just in case everything else fail, okay? I need to search for this. This cut needs to be aligned with this cut. So really uh, fragile. So just put it like that, okay? So now you can see that it's sitting there and then your SIM card needs to be flip. And also with that cut, that indentation, you put it inside. And that's how you have it, all right? In order for this to work, you need to have a passcode. And I do have a passcode. Look, my passcode is 1234. That's my passcode, all right? As soon as we put this, we should see a menu. If we don't see the menu, there's a trick to pull out the menu. And we're going to try the MKSD card on this device. Let's see what happens. Activation require. 1234. Continue and support it. Look at this, guys. This is new. I never seen this. And supported SIM. Please install a SIM with only alphanumeric characters. Let me try this. We're going to go here. We're going to click emergency. And we're going to click the pound and then dial. Enter passcode. 
It says error performing requests, unknown error. Look at this, guys. We got the menu, all right. We are using the MKSD Ultra version 5.4. This is the newest version. What we're gonna do is, since this is the iPhone 11, this iPhone is not 5G, so we need to use the 4G mode. Click 4G mode, and then you're gonna put mode auto. And you're gonna send, accept. Wait a little bit there, and then click dismiss. Looks like the MKSD is fighting to unlock the device or something. Another thing, guys, if you have Find My iPhone, this will not work. If your device is blacklisted, this is not going to work. Click Dismiss. Look at this, guys. Claro. You can see here that it's already getting the Claro signal. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna go to general about. You can see here that we still have the SIM lock, but look at the network. Claro Peru, carrier 55.0 with iOS 17. <laughs> look at this, it says AT&T, network selection, Claro Peru. SIM applications, and you can see that the MKSD Ultra is running, okay, it's running fine. Let me see if I can make a phone call. Let me call this number. You can see it's dialing right there. Okay, so I'm gonna click accept. Hello, 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 hello. So it's working. Okay, so you can get phone calls. Uh, we don't have Wi Fi calling, right? All right, let me turn off the Wi Fi and let's see if I have data. Yeah, I do have data. Let's see if I can still call like that. Hold on. Yeah, I can call. It's working. So I just show you guys in this video that the MKSD Ultra version 5.4 is working on iOS 17. Again, I'm not promoting this. This is just the last resort. If they pretty much uh, scam you with a phone that is locked, you can try this, I guess, you know, but I'm not selling it. So let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe. That's the best way you can support my channel. And I'll see you on my next video.